Welcome along. Thanks for joining us for the first of two semi-finals in this final event for this weekend of women's series action. It is be Fallon the for the two-time world champion Makuru Suzuki taking on the Queen of the Palace, Fallon Sherrick, winner of two of these events Bullseye. out of the five so far this weekend. The other three have been won by Lisa Ashton. If you have been following, Outside you will know that wonderful. this final event of the six here in Milton Keynes has been all about a straight race between Ashton and Sherrick to seal the one available Grand Slam of Darts spot in the half a dozen tournaments played out over the 100. course of the weekend. And just to put you in the picture, Sherrick is currently in pole position for that because she's already in the semi-finals, but Lisa Ashton would go back ahead of her by just 50 pounds if she well, beats I'm Anastasia Dobromislova in the quarter-final that they're playing right now. And Ashton has a lead in that match of 3-0 in a race to four. 43. So it is advantage Ashton still. They could meet in the final. Probably will meet in the final, in truth, based on what we've seen so far. But this will be a tough test for Fallon Sherrick, who's looking to make her fifth consecutive well, final. I'm this weekend up against Makuru Suzuki. Trying to make her first. Colin Lloyd still alongside me. Yeah, this is a tough game. Maybe this well, is the game where Makuru livens up a little bit. She's looked a little bit subdued. But this is a game where she knows she has to play well. If she doesn't play well, Fallon will just keep hammering and hammering and hammering until she gets the result that she wants. One hundred. We do have the handful of notable meetings in the past. Suzuki winning two of their big three bouts, including at the World Trophy in 2019. Sixty. Fallon Sherrick did beat Suzuki in the final of the Denmark Open the same year, but lost in the World Masters in 2018. Now look at this. 120. What a start it would have been for Fallon Sherrick. Well, Makuru now wants 120. That's a good little marker for the treble 20. And she has hit it to give herself a dart at top for a 120. Game. Oh, what a shot that is. We've just seen... Fallon Sherrick missed double 19 for a 158. And Makuru steps up as cool as you like and takes out 120. It could all turn in the next few moments if Suzuki can manage 60. to beat Fallon Sherrick in the semi final. And Lisa Ashton wins one more leg in her quarter final against Anastasia Dobromislova. Then that would be it in terms of the race for the 93. Grand Slam. Of course, there is another chance in next month's series of events. Should mention as well that the semi-finalist waiting for the winner of that match is Laura Turner, having a good run at the end of the weekend. 140. What a start to this match. 158. Missed on the double by Sherrick and then that Shanghai shot. 100. For Suzuki to break in the opening leg. Ninety-five. This is certainly the best Murph we've seen Makuru throw so far. Currently averaging up at the hundred mark. I know it's only the second leg. One hundred and thirty-two. Well, you're right. She hasn't been anywhere near that kind of level for much of the weekend. She's turning it on for the big match. It's almost like she's got herself to the business end of the tournament and thought, right now, now it's time to play. <coughs> yeah, I totally agree with you. She left herself 68, but Fallon's going to leave herself top tier after only 12 darts to try and break back that throw. It will just be the one dart at double for Suzuki. That's all she needed in her last leg. But this time, Nine. she fails to find the target. And Sherrick can cancel out that break. Excellent guide. 
Can she use it? No score. No, she can't. Well, you won't get much closer than that. Let's open the door. Makuru for double 16 to double a lead. Game shot. Well, that's the first time, really, over the course of the entire weekend that I've seen any kind of animation from Fallon Sherrick kind of slapping her head as she walked back, still shaking it as Suzuki went out. 140. It hasn't affected a throw. Still switched on. But now needing to overthrow a two-leg deficit. Sixty. Yeah, the main thing in Makuru's favour now, Murph, is she has actually taken the throw from Fallon. And even if she does lose this leg, she'll 46. be thinking to herself, well, I'll just keep holding my throw and I'll get over the line. That's easier said than done, obviously. Yeah, it does feel like Fallon needs to win the next two legs in this match. Does not want to let the player of Makuru's ability get to three in a 26. Well, it is a race to five now, isn't it? Sorry. So a little bit more time for her to try and turn it around, but not the start she would have wanted. 99. Not over yet between Anastasia Dobromislova and Lisa Ashton either, by the way. Anastasia took a leg, but just as I say that, it is over and Lisa Ashton has taken 60. the fourth. So 4 1 to Lisa Ashton to book a place in the semi final. She's now back in front in the race for the Grand Slam. Could all come down to a final between her well, and Fallon Sherrick, but look, Sherrick's got work to do here. Yeah, Fallon's in total control of this leg. 100. Good solid leg on throw. Try and get rid of this one and then try and attack the Makuru Suzuki throw. Let's try and get back on level terms. 60. Fifty-five. So having missed starts. Break back. Game shot. This time she finds double top. First attempt to halve the deficit. Laura Turner against Lisa Ashton in the semi finals coming up next. Will it be Suzuki or Sherrick? 60. Who progresses to the final? I have to say, I know it's Lisa Ashton that is so far the best performer this weekend, but it is remarkable that Fallon Sherrick has managed to be every player put in front of her, apart from Lisa Ashton. One hundred. Yeah, you would have thought the amount of times they've played each other. Head-to-head -head record, Murphy, is just unbelievable, is it? Yeah, the Ashton, mind boggles. Ashton really does have a hold on Fallon. 46. Born out in this tournament again. Nobody has beaten Fallon Sherrick here this weekend, except Lisa. And she might have to do it again in the final to seal what would be for Lisa a return at, to the Grand Slam. For Fallon, 30. a debut. Well, by the looks of things, it looks like Suzuki's gone very, very despondent again. She started off so, so well, looked really good, looked like that two-time world champion, but game seems to have gone a little bit awry at the minute, and I think she's really suffering with it. And you were talking about 85. this before, she's showing Fallon Sherrick as well, isn't she? And that will just offer a little bit more confidence to Sherrick, as if she needed it. She's looking cool, calm and collected. 60. Well, that was a weak dart. That was a. One of my colleagues would say, Wayne Mardell.
That was a lazy dart. I know it's been 43. a... 43. I know it's been a long couple of days, Murph, but you really do now. You're down at the business end. You really do just need to 96. dig deep. You've just got to dig. Your reserves are probably gone, but just try and find some more. Use the vapours, everything. You've won enough long, grueling proteo events to know what it takes to just find that little bit extra 59. to kick on in the semis and the final. Sherrick certainly has it. Ashton certainly has it. And that's why they've shared all the titles so far. Forty-nine. Well, he's left himself a two data, but Makuru we see a take out a one twenty earlier. Could she take out a one two four? Well, she lost the bullseye for a one two four. It seemed like Suzuki had as good as given up. All of a sudden gets a dart at the ball. Wasn't far away from it and might come back. But Eight. she won't come back because Sherrick has landed double ten. And she does break back and with that takes control of this semi-final. Eighty one. Sixty. Well, Fallon, she'll want to stamp a bit of authority now. She's got the throw back. Fifty eight. Not really enough, 81 and 58. Makuru, if she can start digging in a bit and start picking out those triple 20s again, which she did in the first two legs. Well, there's one. 81. And there's one as well. Nice one. Nice two. Nice three from Fallon Sherrick have something to say about Ashton making it through. Is she going to fill it up as well? 140 is enough to apply some pressure. Well, 88 here for Fallon. Big 18 for the ball. Give yourself a chance. Bullseye now. 63. Well thrown dart. Just didn't find the target. Suzuki. A treble for two at double, or two singles for one at double. But that doesn't give her any darts at double. And Fallon Sherrick can breathe a sigh of relief, step Thank up you. and clean up the remainder, but well, Colin Lloyd shaking his head alongside me. He can't believe what he's just witnessed. Game shot. Well, I couldn't see the... I couldn't see the shot markers obviously the camera went in on the darts um i'm not sure if if makuru actually moved on yoki because their darts are quite long did she just try and throw one over the top 21. and overdone it which would have been the wrong thing to do she should have moved across the yoki so she could see more of the bed 140 and then to do it again sorry not good enough there's an X there, no tick, I'm afraid. And she was punished to the hilt as Sherrick stepped up and landed the double eight to complete the 25 combination. And then fired off with a 140 in leg six. Eighty, 85. Eighty-one. Both have shown their ability in this match, but the difference has been consistency, hasn't it? Fallon Sherrick has been much more assured. Fewer darts sprayed around the board, 100. fewer mistakes. Just this leg alone, you just look at it from Suzuki. 41, 140, 81. Now another one in the five, and that's the difference. Sherrick is just, at the moment, that bit more consistent. Eighty-five. Yeah, very much so, averaging around the 86, 87 mark. She 
trying to land another one in there to leave. 100. Double 18, not sure about that from Sherrick. The dance looked a bit precariously placed, to be honest. She got away with it, didn't knock them out. Not Stephen Bunting style in Gibraltar. 94. That's a decent shot there from Makuru. Left herself 60 off 15 darts. Fallon's only going to get one dart of the double. I don't get that either. The determination to leave double 18 36. before. And then goes for 16 to leave a block target in tops. Well, Suzuki, does she move this time? She can loop it over the top. 40. But she hasn't found the double, and Sherrick will return this time, taking aim at a clear bed. 50. Game shot. Then it goes to double 10, and Fallon Sherrick now is on the brink of a place in what would be a fifth consecutive final this weekend three legs ahead one leg away and let's not 96. forget she trailed this match 2-0 yeah dug in deep and it's getting rewarded 60 four legs on the trot Against the former two time world champ. 134. Yeah, really starting to turn the screw now, Murph. It's a case of, right, let's get this out of the way. Go and get myself sat down and relaxed for 10 minutes and let the other two ladies 85. work it out, and then I'll be ready to whoever I have to play in the final. Just see the wince as that treble one went 43. in, and it just shows there and that reaction. Fallon Sherrick is determined to wrap it up in this leg. Forty-five. Perfect first start. Fails to follow by virtue of a deflection. Eighty-three but is down to a finish and could yet sign off this semi-final in style. Eighty-five. And she may take on Lisa Ashton 